Okay, now let's talk about fabrics for strip piece color wash. As normal, variety is the spice of life. So you go on varying shapes, multiple colors, some small, some medium, some large prints, just like when you're normally making a quilt. Value is what makes this quilt sing. Lights advance towards the viewer and create three-dimensional effects. Light combined with dark provides contrast and depth. Mediums are the most visible, and if you didn't know it already, that's what most quilters tend to buy is the mediums. Darks tend to recede. They provide definition, sharpness, and richness. Background. Now this is where it's different when you're making a strip piece color wash quilt. If you were going to um, pick a fabric and you were doing traditional strip piece, you could fussy cut just this flower and put it in the square. But when I cut a strip off of the fabric, you could see how, depending on where it falls, if I pick this fabric, some of my fabrics not gonna have a flower. All you're gonna see is the background. It's not gonna quite give us the effect we want. In contrast, this fabric here, you see how little of the background you see in this fabric? I can cut a two inch strip off of this and I'm gonna get flowers, I'm gonna get contrast, I'm gonna get different shapes and different sizes. This is what we're after for this class. You will probably want to avoid geometric prints because they're going to march boldly across your quilt and not blend. After you've made one or two of these, you might try it on purpose just to see the effect you could get, but I would recommend for the first couple of quilts that you skip geometrics. Monochromatics and two color prints won't blend as well, and they should only be used for very lights and very darks. So the best choices are fabrics that don't have a symmetrical design. And when I cut a two inch strip of it, as I move down the strip, each cut is gonna give me a different look. One. Okay, let's just have a visual reminder of what we just talked about. First, fabrics I would like you to avoid when you're picking fabrics for your strip piece color wash. These are my examples. And it's kind of easy to see that in some of these examples, some places along these fabrics, you would get only the background, not any interesting design. And they should be avoided for strip piece because we're not fussy cutting. Then let's talk about what does work. Transition fabrics. These are fabrics that as you cut one two inch strip, the next two inch strip even is different. You could use more than one of these in your quilt and people probably wouldn't even pick it out as being the same fabric. And then here I have another fabric of this. You can see that all three strips are gonna be very different as I go down there cutting and very little of the background shows. That's what we're looking for. Blenders, here's blenders in different values. Once again, very little of the background shows multiple colors, so they're going to blend and transition from one to the other. Let's talk about what's down here on the bottom. This would be an okay fabric, but see how this one would be better? This is going to blend better than this fabric will. Once again, this fabric, a little more background than I'd really like to see. This one will blend much better as you look at what happens as you go across the strip of fabric because you're going to be cutting slices out of this eventually. Now if we look at this side, part of the biggest problem I find most quilters have choosing fabric is we tend to buy the mediums and so when we start needing a lot of lights we don't always have the lights that we'd like or the number of lights that we'd like. Don't forget to consider the back side of your fabric. So here I have put several fabrics where you see the right side of the fabric and the back side. And the back side could be a blender because the colors come through, the shapes come through, and this could be 
those extra lights that you were short. So don't forget to check out the backs. So you picked your fabric. You're going to cut two inch strips off of your fabrics. And now comes the challenge. We're going to sort those fabrics by value. So the goal is to have six different ranges of value. Light, what I like to call light plus, medium, medium plus, dark, and dark plus. So how do we get our fabrics into those different values? So I have a whole pile of some strips here and I'm just going to show you kind of how you get started. I lay out my strips. That one looks pretty light. This one looks pretty dark. You might remember when we talked about selecting lights and darks. These are the two areas where you can have, see I'm using the back side, where you can have very little design is in your darks and possibly in your lights. So then I just pick up my next one. Well, this one's kind of easy. It's obviously darker than the light and lighter than the medium. So I'm going to put it here. Then I'll just pick up my next strip. Darker, darker, darker. So now I have four values. I think this goes about here. Oh, well, how about this strip? So now see how we have six values? Once I have that, I just start going through my fabrics and figuring out where are they going to fit. And I leave so I can see a little bit and fold them where I just, in the next strip, will just keep going on here like that. So I'm just going to keep going down through these. Some of them are going to be pretty easy to determine where they belong. Every once in a while, you might find a strip where you're just not sure what color it belongs in. And when that's the case, I don't want you to agonize over it. Just pick a spot like, okay, I think that's there. I think this one's here. If I'm not sure, I'm just going to pick a spot and put it there. When I actually start putting it in and laying out the block, you will get a chance to lay the block out and see what it's going to look like before you sew it. So. I have some tricks on how you can make it look a little lighter or a little darker as you need to. So I would just continue sorting my strips. Eh, maybe I think that really does belong over here. I think you get the idea. As you go along, it gets a little easier because you have more and you just lay the strip there and it's kind of easy to see where it goes. As you do this, the one thing I would warn you about is don't, if you do have little bits of the background showing, don't let you think it's a really dark fabric just because there's a little black in the background. The whole design may say, I'm lighter. Some of you that wear glasses, you might be able to tell better if you take your glasses off and squint. Another option, take a picture of it with your phone. And from a distance, it's a little easier sometimes to sort the values. You want to sort the values and you want to have a few extras over what I say you need for each of the six values on your supply sheet when you come to class. When you come to class, we'll lay out your blocks and we'll learn how to make these quilts. Thanks. I'm Linda Wagner. And if you're interested in learning more about strip piece quilts, you might want to check out my website, lindawagnerquilts.com. You can send me a message. Have a good day and happy quilting.